Hi, now let us study quadratic equation. What is quadratic equation? It is an algebraic equation of the second degree. And it is typically written in this form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. 4x squared minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. x squared plus 2x is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. x squared minus 16 equated to 0 is also a quadratic equation. And quadratic equations can be solved using factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. Okay, let us continue. Example number one, we have here x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, let us solve the values of x using factoring. Okay, then the factors of x squared is x and x of course okay and since we have your positive and positive this must be positive and this also must be positive the factors of 4 are 4 and 1 and 2 and 2 right but if we're going to use 4 and 1 that the middle term will become 5x instead of using 4 and 1 we'll be using 2 and 2 so we have here x plus 2 and in here we have x plus 2 equated to 0 so the factors of x squared plus 4x plus 4 are x plus 2 and x plus 2. From here, we have x equal to negative 2 and negative 2. Another example, we have your x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. By factoring, let us solve for the values of x. Okay? The factors of x squared is x and x. But we have here negative and positive, okay? So since this is negative, this must be negative and this must be negative. The factors of 9 is 3 and 3 and 9 and 1. But if you're going to use 9 and 1, this can be can become 8x or 10x, right? But we have here the middle term negative 6x. So instead of using 9 and 1, we'll be using 3 and 3, Okay? So we have here x minus 3, and in here we have x minus 3. x times x is x squared, and negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times x also is negative 3x, and negative 3x plus negative 3x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So the factors of x squared minus 6x plus 9 is x minus 3 and x minus 3. From here we have x equal to 3 and 3. So those are the values of x. Let us continue. Example number 3, x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So by factoring, let us solve for the values of x. We have here the factors of x squared is still x and x. But the factors of 6 is 6 and 1 and 2 and 3. So, which is possible? 6 and 1 to obtain negative 1 or 3 and 2 to obtain negative 1. So, it is 3 and 2. But, since this is negative, therefore, one of this is negative. Okay? So, we have here positive and this is negative. But, which is negative and which is positive? Since we'll be using 2 and 3 as, a factor, as the factors of 6, then to obtain negative 1, 3 must be negative, okay? And 2 is positive, okay? So x times x is x squared, 2 times x is 2x, but negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3x plus 2x is negative x, and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So, the factors of x squared minus x minus 6 is x plus 2 times x minus 3. From here, we have x equal to negative 2 and positive 3. Next, we have here x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. By factoring, let us solve for the values of x. Okay? So, the factors of x squared is still x and x but we have here negative 8 and we have here positive 2x the factors of 8 is 8 and 1 and 4 and 2 
for us to obtain 2x, we'll be using 4 and 2. But since this is positive 2x, then we need 4 to be positive and 2 to be negative. Okay? So we have your x times x, x squared. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x and 4 times x is 4x. 4x plus negative 2x is 2x and then negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8. So the factors of x squared plus 2x minus 8 is x minus 2 times x plus 4. From here we have x equal to 2 and negative 4. Those are the values of x. Let us continue. We have your 4x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. This is also a quadratic equation. So we have here 4 x squared. Transposing this to the other side, this becomes positive and then x squared is equal to 16 over 4 and x squared is equal to 4. Therefore, x is equal to negative positive 2. Okay? Then we have here 3x squared minus 9x is equal to 0. We may factor out 3x and then have x minus 3 okay equal to 0 3x is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 3 so these are the values of x it is 0 and 3 Example number 7. We have here 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. We cannot solve this easily by using factoring. So let us use completing the square. Then we have here 3x squared minus 2x is equal to positive 4. Transposing negative 4 to the other side. And then let us divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x squared. And this will become x squared minus 2x over 3 is equal to 4 third. Okay? So, dividing this by 2 and squaring it, you have x squared minus 2x over 3 plus 1 over 9 equals 4 third plus 1 over 9. Okay, next we have here x minus 1 third squared equal to 4 third plus 1 over 9 that is equal to 13 over 9. Right? Squaring both sides of the equation we have x minus 1 third equal to the square root of 13 over 9. Then we have x minus 1 third equal to square root of 13 over 3. But this is negative and positive. Okay? So finally we have x equal to 1 third negative positive square root of 13 over 3. So those are the values of x. It is 1 third plus the square root of 13 over 3 and 1 third minus the square root of 13 over 3. I hope you can follow. For example number 8, we'll be solving the same problem as number 7. 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0 but this time we'll be using quadratic formula. We have a here equal to 3 and then b equal to negative 2 and c is equal to negative 4. The formula in solving 4x is equal to negative b, negative positive square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so that is the formula. Let us now substitute negative b, which is negative, negative 2. 
Okay. Negative, positive, square root of B squared. Negative 2 squared. Okay. Minus 4 times A, which is 3, times C, which is negative 4. Okay. Divided by 2 times A, which is 3. Okay. So, we have here X now equal to positive 2. Negative, positive, square root of B squared. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Minus 4 times 3 times negative 4. That is negative 4 times 3 times negative 4. That is positive 48. Okay. And then we have 2 Negative, positive, square root of 48 plus 40 is 52 divided by 6. Okay? And then x is equal to 2 times negative, positive, square root of 4 times 13 divided by 6. Okay? And x is equal to 2 negative, positive, 2 square root of 13 over 6. And simplifying this, we have x equal to 1 negative positive square root of 13 all over 3. Okay? That is the same as the answer in example number 7. Can you follow? Please subscribe and share. Thank you.